Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on just DC stuff as a whole. So yesterday from when this video will go out or go out, go up, whatever it is, we had DC Fan Day. I was going to upload this video like after the event. I guess it would have been better too, but I just wanted stuff to like marinate because I wasn't going to do a video on one specific thing. I just wanted to do like a big wrap up sort of thing and just not do quick fire, but just talk about a few things in one just one video so doing a you know one video on one certain thing and stuff like that so yeah dc fandom happened it seems as a it's like a mixed reaction very similar to last year personally for me i think last year's one was better this one felt almost unnecessary it just felt like a four hour or three and a half four hour event just to hype up the batman trailer which we'll talk about that trailer in this video but that's what it felt like the event was i felt like a lot of the stuff i, I just felt like it the stuff within fandom didn't warrant fandom being on while last year, I think it warranted being a thing more, even though it wasn't amazing at the same time. So yeah, I think if the Batman wasn't coming out early next year, they wouldn't, wouldn't have done this because we have Comic-Con next year in July and they would have just shown all this stuff there or more than what they showed. And they'll show, you know, more than what they showed at fandom and show that at, 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 at Comic-Con next year. But it happened, so we'll talk about the stuff that happened. But yeah, of course, guys, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. What did you like the most from Fandom? What would you give Fandom as a whole out of 10? Did you think it was worth it? Did you think it was better than last year? Just let me know your you know favorite things from it. I'm always curious to read what you guys enjoyed. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it to show support. And uh, yeah, it just helps the channel out. So the first thing that was actually shown that was like a bigger thing was the Flash Gold Boots. We got our official first look at that. Um, awesome poster. It pretty much completes the perfect Flash suit in live action. We'll talk about the Flash movie stuff in this video as well, but I think this is pretty much the pinnacle. I don't know if you can really beat it. Like, and that's not me being biased. I think that's just me being honest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, we're just being honest here. Like, it's pretty much perfect. The only thing you could argue, which I sort of agree with, which people are saying, is that you change the color of like the other gold bits on his suit to match the color of the boots which could happen we don't know that's for us to wait and find out but the elephant in the room in regards to the uh fandom stuff is uh well the flash trailer or the non-existence of a flash trailer and the false advertising for the trailer so leading up to fandom they said there was going to be a trailer now to be to be fair about two or three weeks ago, or I think like whenever the last update was with content, they did say it was first look footage. So it changed from a trailer to first look footage, but they sort of said first look footage as like a, just a way to describe stuff that was being shown for a lot of the show. So Peacemaker was first look footage and Peacemaker got a trailer. Um, and I won't talk much about the Peacemaker trailer, but yeah, once again, it seemed to be a mixed reaction to it. Some people hated it, some people liked it. I'm in the camp that liked it, so I'm looking forward to that show. But yeah, the Flash trailer, they said there was going to be more well, quote-unquote first look footage. And all we got was the photo, which isn't footage. Footage is, you know, moving motion footage, you know, video, uh, at least in this day and age. So I have no idea what happened. I talked to someone and apparently there was not a lot of stuff, but there was stuff that was planned to be shown at Fando that was scrapped. Now... In regards to this Flash trailer, we are a month away from the show coming out, season eight starting, and the trailers for shows, like CW shows, come out a month before the shows start usually. So we're in the period where we should be getting this trailer. So because we didn't get it at Fando, we must be getting it later this week, I would assume, if it lines up with what they always do. But it confuses the hell out of me because it's an Armageddon. It, it's it's like a mini, it's, it's a crossover event that's just on the Flash. It's a special event. Why would you not showcase that at Fando? And people can come and just watch this Armageddon event because it's almost like self-contained. Like it doesn't continue on from last season's story. That continues really in season, uh, in episode six, might I say. So why not advertise that? Really confusing by Warner Brothers TV. They're the, I don't know if it's CW. I don't think the CW is actually the, the people to blame. I think it's Warner Brothers TV because they're the one that sort of compile all the stuff. Extremely confusing why they didn't release it. I don't know if we can actually explain it. Even some CW affiliate Twitter accounts, like official ones, were questioning why it wasn't released because it's extremely confusing. But they didn't do it. They, they missed the chance, I guess. And there was a lot of filler in this event. So it's not like they just ran out of time. I mean, they had that guy that played Javelin from Suicide Squad singing him like a song for like five minutes, which no, I don't think anyone liked. So very confusing. But moving on to actual footage and video and so, quote unquote, like sort of teaser trailer stuff for an, a Flash property. We got our first look at the Flash movie. Now, 
I thought this was pretty solid, um, but I was surprised that there were people complaining about it online. The only thing that I thought was a bit dodgy about it was his cowl. It gives me like major Flash Season 5 vibes. But then in later in the trailer, you see him like on a like near the waterfall in the back cave and the cow i know it's from it that's like a cgi suit and it's not done but it looks like the cow's different so i'm not too sure what's exactly going on but that first shot where he's like looking at something and they sort of zoom in it's a weird cow so that's something that hopefully that's not the official one at the end of the movie maybe it gets damaged or something like that but yeah they didn't really show too much it was pretty much just the basic thing like yeah, this is Flashpoint. Yeah, there's some timey-wimey messed up stuff going on. And there's the back of Michael Keaton's Batman. It was the definitive um, example of what a teaser trailer is. It teased everything. And that's what they, you know, a teaser trailer is meant to do. And I'm excited for it. But we're still like over a year away from that coming out. So we'll obviously get our proper first look and anything really major to talk about at Comic-Con next year. That's when they'll probably release the proper trailer for it. And that'll be when we can actually properly discuss that because it really wasn't too much from that teaser to dive into. Another first look we got was at Black Adam, which is one of my more um, hyped up DC properties because it has the JSA and I love the JSA. Got to see Dr. Fate's helmet, which looks awesome. Didn't get to see Dr. Fate in, in like costume, I don't think, from memory, from when it quickly played through. But you get to see his helmet. It's shiny, as I would always want it to be. Um, and that opening sort of, ed- like they, it was like they released the opening scene, but it was like an edited down version of the opening scene. And it looks brutal. Um, I did, like, I think a lot of people were questioning whether The Rock or, you know, Dwayne Johnson would be able to pull off Black Adam. And the scene they showed didn't necessarily, it wasn't going to be a make or break scene. It was like him in a hood. And it was more just like the visual effects and everything like that that they were trying to show off. And I guess the power of Black Adam. Um, so I guess we'll still have to wait until maybe February next year. I think they'll release the proper trailer just before the Batman comes out and then they'll play that in cinema. So we're still going to be waiting probably like four months to get the proper trailer, I think, for Black Adam. But then again, they might give us a Christmas gift and we might get one in a couple of months time. I'm not too sure. But based off the first look, I'm looking forward to it. But then again, I was already looking forward to it uh, before that. So that just sort of cemented my, uh, cemented my uh, you know, hopes and wants. Flashing back to DC TV, we did get our first proper look at the new CW series, Naomi. Can't remember if they said when there's a release date. We know it's going to be early next year. It's not coming out when like Flash comes out or, you know, Batwoman Legends have already started. So it's probably going to be coming out around the time maybe that like maybe Superman and Lois starts maybe or around that period or maybe a bit later into next year. Not too sure. But the first look that uh, the first like scene that they showed is pretty much straight from the comics um, and it's her running to... Uh, look at a Superman thing. If you didn't know, like Naomi's like the Naomi McDuffie is like a massive Superman fan. Was like a Superman fan blog. I think it's like the number one thing, like the number one fan blog for Superman in the world from the comics. Not too sure if that's the same in the show, but we see her running there and she sort of like passes out because something weird's going on. Obviously it's something to do with her powers and stuff going on there, which they'll dive into in the show. But when she falls to the ground, she looks up and she sees Superman flying off. Very important to note, this show is not a Belanti or Greg Belanti show. So it's we shouldn't believe it's in the Arrowverse at this point. So they don't expect like Tyler Hecklin to be the Superman. We probably won't see Superman, I don't think. I think it's going to be one of those Supergirl season one sort of things where you just see him like blurred or it's from the back or it's from the distance. You don't get a proper Superman. I don't think at the very least. We might, they might surprise us, but... I think they might just do this whole, like, from a distance, from a blur, very Supergirl season one style, or even, like, what they do with Batman, Batman on Titans or Batwoman, stuff like that. Um, So, yeah, I wouldn't expect Superman in there, but they might surprise us, who knows? But, yeah, I did mention the Batman, so the last thing to really talk about was the Batman trailer, which they released, which, um, as I said, this whole event was pretty much to hype up this trailer. And, you know, it worked. I think they could have just released the trailer and would have done the exact same thing. But then they can use the Batman trailer to sort of, like, highlight some other things that were going on in fandom. And people did watch the entire thing. Like, I knew going into it, the Batman was going to be the last thing they they showed. It was clear. It was so obvious. They weren't going to show the Batman thing, you know, second off the ranks and then have three hours of other stuff. They were always going to have the Batman as either the last or one of the last things. And it was the last thing, which... As I said, not too surprising. But yeah, I didn't need to see a trailer for this because I know the movie's going to be good. You know, I don't watch trailers usually for movies that I know are going to be good or that I'm looking forward to anyway. I usually watch a trailer for something I'm actually not too sure about. And I'm like, should I actually go spend my money on it? I was already going to spend my money on the Batman, so I didn't really need another trailer to, uh, you know, cement any, uh, you know, insecurities I had about going to watch it. So yeah, good trailer. Uh, I think 
I don't know if it's, I've saw people saying it's like the best comic book movie trailer ever. I know it's like, cause that's really subjective. Um, I just really hope people don't overhype it because I don't think it's going to be anything ridiculous because I think Batman keeping Batman simple and keeping his villains simple and just the relationships between them is the best way to go. So hopefully people don't think like aliens are going to shoot up on the river and Batman's going to be fighting aliens or some crap because you know that's what the internet will do. But yeah, as I said earlier in the video, this Flash trailer that should have been released, it should, I guess, be coming out later this week. That's for us to wait and find out. But let me know in the comments section down below, as I said earlier, what was your you know favorite part of fandom? I'm assuming it's probably going to be the Batman trailer, but maybe it was something else. Let me know in the comments section down below what your favorite bit was. And of course, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed fandom and just enjoyed what you saw, want to drop a like on the video to show your support for the channel and to show your admiration. And of course, if you are new to the channel, uh, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.